You know, as I was looking around at some of my gas-powered models here, like this P-80 Shooting Star and uh, Jet, or this one-third scale Pitts that's hanging here in my garage, or my homemade twin-cylinder KMB-40 airplane that absolutely has no tail, or my Scimitar 540 with a incredible fast speed, or some of my gas helicopters. I gotta say, uh, you know, I'm gonna make my own. I think I'm gonna go with electric. I've had very good luck with the electric helicopters and electric models that I've been flying. See my video on this Japanese Zero electric in the dark even. My Cox Kristen Eagle. These are uh, really good flying electric airplanes. Okay, I found a bunch of parts that I can use for my uh, homemade model airplane. I've got the outrunner motor, the LiPo battery, a couple of micro servos, a real good high-tech super slim RC radio. That's the speed controller right there for the thing. Here's a fuselage that I found from an old Cox model. And I found a wing from the Cessna 182. Fits on this just fine. It actually already has lights in it. I found some uh, push rods that I can use, some dowel rods to reinforce the tail. I found a couple of wheels, may or may not put wheels on. I'm not crazy about wheels. I like to just land in the grass. But these are very interesting uh, wheels for lightweight airplanes. And there is a landing gear if I decide to put it on. Well, right now I'm going to go ahead and cut the nose off and see if I can get the motor in there. We have traced a circle. Okay, I've mounted my outrunner motor to the motor mount, and I'm going to go ahead and put that inside now. Um, keep in mind, when you uh, put this last screw in for the tilt, make sure that you have a couple of degrees of right thrust in it, and that's always the way you would do it. All right, let's test the motor mount out. First of all, we turn on your transmitter first, and come over here, and I've got the motor set up. And I'm going to turn on the battery to this. Okay, I've got everything mounted, the receiver and speed controller in the front, everything is packed in foam, wrapped in a uh, rubber sleeve, and I've strung the uh, antenna through the back of the fuselage here. Uh, using a little piece of metal rod. Okay, I've drilled four holes here and now I'm going to cut this out so the uh, servo will fit right in there. Just fine. Okay, I took the electric glue gun and I put a drop of glue here and here on each servo and dropped them into the slots I cut. They fit in there nice and snug. Uh, my receiver and everything is in. Motor's all set and ready to go. Okay. Now we got a set of wheels on it. May look a little weird, but it's going to keep the prop off the ground. Okay, what I'm going to do now with my tail is I'm going to stiffen it up, and again, I'm going to use the electric glue. And uh, I'm just going to put a nice bead on here and let it cool just a bit before I put it on because. I don't want it to melt too deep into the plastic. So, let's see what happens here. Hold that down. This will stiffen it up. Okay, now I'm going to use the foam safe super glue to put a stiffener on the elevator portion of this. So, uh, 
Uh, here's how I'm going to do that. I will just run a little bead on that side and hit it with the uh, foam safe accelerator. And when that dries, it should be instantly. I'm going to do the same on this side. Just get a nice little bead on there. Hit with the accelerator. And there we go. Okay, now I am uh, creating a hinge line with tape. I'm going to put one on the other side. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, I've mounted my control horn. Make sure that that is solid. I've glued on the uh, elevator. It all feels really good and stiff. Now we're going to work on the rudder. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply this stick on the edge so that I can drill a hole and mount that for a little more uh, stability. So let's go ahead and put some foam safe super glue on here. Hit that with the accelerator. Okay, got my control horn on my rudder. Got a good strong stick on there, and I'm a proponent of strength. So let's go ahead and glue this on. Okay, looks pretty straight. All right, we're uh, all we got to do is hook up the push rods to the servos, and we should be ready to fly. Okay, I've got the uh, elevator push rod hooked up here, uh, and I want you to see if you put pressure on this. You see what happens? It bows. So you always have to have strain relief. So what I'm doing is I'm making a little bracket here that's going to hold that down and keep that from happening. Okay. Looking good. Well, I've got my junkyard dog all done here. And uh, mount the uh, battery on the top, as you can see, the LiPo battery, so that I have just the right amount of balance on the high part of the wing just hangs just right and uh, it looks like we're all set to give it a try <laughs> there we go Good night. Let's try a loop. <laughs> there we go, folks. Well, I'm very satisfied with that, uh, to tell you the truth. And uh, I think I'm going to take that landing gear off, though, and just make some skids instead. I don't need no stinking landing gear. <laughs> there we go. Back in the hangar. Intact. Perfect.